In order to install the doors, you will require an impact drill, cordless hammer drill, a six foot spirit level, a tape measure, a tube of glazing adhesive, double sided two millimeter glazing tape, an eight millimeter HSS drill bit, appropriate fixings, and a range of glazing packers. Check the opening where the doors will be going. Then check the size of the doors so you know that they fit in the aperture and also you will know how much tolerance you have to work with. Ideally, you need a 15mm difference in the width and height to allow for the correct levelling of the doors. Check the base is plumb and use glazing packers to raise the level if required to achieve a perfect base to work on. To prevent water from escaping from inside the chamber of the sill, it is very important that the sill end caps are glued on prior to installation. Cover the perimeter of the ends, then clip on the caps into place. The end caps are handed left and right. If the door requires a sill, the sill would then sit on top of the glazing packers. Offer the frame into the aperture, ensuring any glazing packers on the base are not disturbed. If required, use pumps and wedges or packers to temporarily hold the doors in position. With the doors in position, use the spirit level to check that the door is level and plumb within the opening. If you have one, we recommend using a laser level for improved accuracy. Fix the door into position using the necessary fixings and checking the levels as you go. We recommend fixing at 400mm intervals on either side. Use glazing packers where necessary to stop any distortion in the frame and be careful not to over tighten the fixings. Check the lock inside is plumb and level and adjust if necessary then repeat the fixing process. In line with the interlocking profile, fix the head into position ensuring there is no bowing of the frame. Finally, fix the bottom rail in the centre to complete the fixing process. The next stage is to install the glass units. Start by removing all the glazing beads from the frame, making note of which bead fits where. Place 5mm glazing packers at the bottom of each panel. On the interlocking side, cover the internal rebate with a generous amount of glazing silicon. This is required to stop the frame from flexing. The sticker indicates which side of the glass should face inside the room. Offer the glass unit into the interlocking side pocket first. With the glass in position, replace the top bead and use a 5mm glazing packer to hold the bead in place. Repeat the process with the remaining beads on this panel. Lock the door into position and then remove the handle by slackening off the screws. Apply the glazing silicon to the inside rebate of the interlocking section. Offer the glass into position by placing the unit inside the pocket of the interlocking jam first and then twist into position. Refit the handle, taking care not to over tighten the screws. Using the same method as the first panel, replace the top and bottom beads only. Before you put the final bead in, it is important to check the door is plumb and level and adjust if necessary. To prevent entrapment, slide the door open and leave roughly a hands gap in between the interlocking profile and the handle. This will indicate where to place the door stop. Mark round the two pegs and drill out the holes. Use an 8mm drill bit and drill out the depth of the pegs. Place the stop into the holes and fix into position using the screw provided. Place wedge gaskets round all four sides of each panel from the inside of the door. From the outside of the door, place the wedge gasket along the length of both interlocks. The door is now ready to fit the outer frame track cover plates. Start by placing the double-sided glazing tape along all three sides of the outer track. There are two sides to the cover plate, 
One has a brush pile gasket in and the other doesn't. Remove the film from the tape and put the track cover plate into position with the brush pile facing towards the door. Make sure that the track cover plate is secure and repeat the process on the remaining sides of the frame. Open and close the door to make sure it runs smoothly. These are the drainage hole cover caps and these simply press into the pre-drilled holes on the outer frame of the bottom track. Your patio door is now installed and ready for use.